Hey everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to cover five things that introverts dislike doing at work. Now, introverts are all over the scale. Some of them hate all of these five activities. Some introverts may just dislike some of these activities. Number one, and that is brainstorming. I can remember when somebody would be leading a brainstorming session and, and they would always say, there are no rules. I want you to just shout out your wild and crazy ideas. And my colleagues would start enthusiastically saying stuff out loud. They'd just start blurting things out. And it felt uncomfortable for me. And it also didn't, just didn't seem realistic. Because an, as an introvert, I like to think my ideas through. I am really never going to just blurt out an idea that seems wild and crazy. I'm going to have thought it through first, and that is with most introverts. So notice that in brainstorming sessions, you may notice that introverts are extra quiet, and it doesn't mean that they're not engaged. It just means they may be thinking through those wild and crazy ideas that extroverts are enthusiastically blurting out. And when it comes down to, hey, let's put meat and bones around this idea, that's when the introvert is going to be at their highest skill level because they're going to actually think things through past the brainstorming session. The second thing that introverts don't like doing at work is having to work on a team. Now, before you dismiss this, before you say, well, I don't want this introvert working for our company because they're not gonna be a team player. That's not what I mean at all. Introverts can be great team players. It's just that given collaboration, given we're working together all the time on a project versus each person is going off and being responsible for their own task and their own part of the project and then coming back to the team, that's the introvert's preference. Introverts can be great team players once they're given their independent tasks to go work on and then come back to the team. Even Steve Jobs, who is all about collaboration and teamwork said, teamwork is dependent on trusting other folks to come through with their part without watching them all the time. The third thing that many introverts dislike is presenting. The reason why is because when somebody's presenting, then all the eyes are focused on them. And introverts usually like to be in the background. They don't want all of the attention to be on them. So having all of the attention on them, oh my gosh, if they make a mistake or have a mishap, it is horrifying. In fact, we introverts so admire the extrovert's ability to just shake off mistakes or shake it off when something bad happens, whereas we tend to overthink it forever. And we make it worse in our minds than the way it really was. And I've got a video above and in the description below about why introverts overthink. Now, believe it or not, as an introvert, I love to present. It's one of the things that I do. I am a speaker. However, I like to be prepared. I don't want to just be called up on a stage somewhere without any preparation. So know that if you're going to assign an introvert to present, be sure and give them the heads up, give them as many details as possible and as much time as possible so that they can prepare. The fourth thing that introverts commonly hate and that is forced socializing. One of my coaching clients who's not introverted managed a team of introverts and he could not understand, as an extrovert himself, he could not understand why his team was not excited about a weekend social. He was doing this as a reward for them, but they didn't wanna come and he didn't get it. Now, introverts are all over the map when it comes to socializing. However, they like to do it on their own terms. They wanna socialize with the people they wanna socialize with and they wanna socialize it at the time they wanna socialize. They don't wanna feel like they're trapped with no escape. 
So rather than making a social be punishment for an introvert when it's supposed to be a reward for everybody, let them know that they can come and go whenever they want. Give them the schedule. Give them as many details as you can. Help them to feel the freedom to be able to attend and leave whenever they want. It still doesn't mean they're going to come, but they'll be more likely to come if they've been given the details. The fifth thing that introverts dislike in the workplace is being forced to travel with colleagues. I can remember when I was in the corporate environment, I would sometimes be asked to attend a conference, fly off somewhere, or visit a client on a long car trip. And I really enjoyed it unless somebody that I worked with was going to be traveling with me, even if it was somebody that I liked because it all came back down to that forced socialization. I it was going to be exhausting for me. I was gonna have to make conversation. I was gonna be on a plane or in a car with somebody the whole time, sometimes having to share every meal with them. And it was exhausting. So know that if you're one of those extroverts that you're traveling with an introvert that you work with, then know that their breaks away from you are going to be something that they need to replenish their energy. In fact, take the initiative and take breaks from them. They will really appreciate it because they may feel a little self-conscious about initiating the break from you. Do you know of somebody who needs to see this to better understand the introverts on their team at work? If so, I hope that you will share this video with them and I'll see you next time.